Yo, what is up, fellow Duelist fanatics? My name is Vulpin, and today we're going in with Vot the Immortal on another Duelist Live. Yay! Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome to my first video of uh, my new schedule, uh, releasing longer length Duelist Lives or replays or whatever uh, every Monday and Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, it's pretty exciting for me to have uh, laid down a schedule that I plan on sticking to and here's the first of those videos. Uh, something else exciting, you may have noticed a new intro card. Uh, I got rid of the old terrible artwork, uh, worked with a friend and was able to uh, make a new one and hopefully it looks a little bit better, a little bit uh, more aesthetically pleasing. Uh, I know I think it looks better and I'm working on a new intro for Duelist lives in particular not sure if it's gonna make it into this video or not but uh, yeah hopefully that will be coming uh, very soon all right so like I said I'm going to be playing a Magmar deck with uh, Voth as the general uh, I call it Midroth right so it's a mid-range uh, Voth deck and it's the second one I've been kind of tinkering with it I really you know, I haven't played much Magmar, and I've been playing it a lot lately, and, uh, man, I'm having a ton of fun. And after watching the roundtable where it seems like uh, egg, decks, egg decks might be a thing in the future, um, I don't know why, but I got really excited about that. You know, typically I'm a Vanar main, and Vanar is what I like to play, but uh, for whatever reason I'm much more excited about Magmar uh, so far. I'm sure that will change as more cards and more teasers are released. Um, so yeah, I don't know, that's kind of my thoughts is uh, where we stand as of right now. So this deck we have a couple of flash reincarnations, um, two greater fortitudes, two dire tide frenzies, three ephemeral shrouds, two healing mystics, three young silthars, uh, two blazehounds which, man, blazehounds have good stats. For a three drop, you're able to put in a lot of damage, but I hate giving my opponent a card. A Sojourner, because as I quickly found out, Magmar has like no card draw. Uh, Earth Sister Taget, because she is uh, amazing. A couple of Earth Spheres, uh, a couple of Egg Morphs, two Lucidators. Uh, Sunsteel Defender is like, I don't know, it's, it's turned out to be really good in this Magmar deck. Especially combined with Spirit Harvester, because uh, you tend to take no damage. A couple of Fractal Replications, you'll see I have a uh, Prismatic one here, just because I only have one regular one, so uh, we kind of have a mixture there. And then two Mechantor War Beasts, because why wouldn't you run a Mechantor War Beast? Uh, it's, it's pretty ridiculous. I know in a game earlier today I played... Uh, Flash Reincarnation into Mechantor, War Beast into uh, Greater Fortitude and was able to do just like a shit ton of damage right away. And uh, it was all pretty cheap because of it, because of uh, Flash Reincarnation. Okay, so that is the deck. Let's jump into some games here and uh, hopefully we do well. So I'm in the gold division. I know. Next season, I'm aiming for Diamond. Um, let's shoot a lofty goal and say, let's try to hit S rank. Uh, now that my channel is kind of getting its feet, you know, a lot of the background stuff that I needed to do is done, I can actually focus on playing <laughs> Duelist again. Okay, so we we're playing Ryu Busa. And uh, he's got 100 song high winds, but he's playing Lionar right now. Uh, I think Ephemeral Shroud will be good in the early game right now because uh, it'll be good for a Windblade Adept or Silver Guard Knight. Uh, it's too early for Mechantor and it's, it's too early for Spirit Harvester. I'm going to keep these so I can possibly chain them in order to dispel one of his minions. And Sunsteel Defender, like I said, is pretty good in this deck, so I'll keep that one as well. We will hit Ryubusa with the good luck, have fun. And there's the Windblade Adapt Prismatic. So let's move on forward. This is for sure. Since we're playing two cards, 
We'll want to keep Sojourner. Maybe we'll get rid of Flash Reincarnation for now. And we'll get another Sun Steel Defender. That's fine. Um, yeah, so I think we're just going to do exactly like I said. We will... Hmm. I'm going to take the center of the board here. We'll do that, and we'll call that our turn. So although I wasted the one Dispel on a blank space, and he's going to end up getting a free kill on it, um, I think getting rid of that four damage is, is pretty useful. Okay, just going to play the Healing Mystic. And another Windblade Adept. And he is really putting on the pressure early here. So... We obviously don't need both of these right now. Let's move down here. We'll put you here, we'll bop you, we'll call that our turn. You know, this game does not seem to be going in my favor right now, although this Ephemeral Shroud could be important here, especially with the roar. And he still has a pretty full hand. I mean, he's he's definitely got the advantage right now, but we'll see if we can swing it, swing things back in our favor here. I'm trying to get some more experience with Magmar. Um, once again, it seems like Casava is the main deck that I've been facing, and so that's been the majority of my experience so far with this deck. Not so much. Uh, not so much Lionar or any of the other factions, but and actually a lot of. A lot of uh, Kara. She has become pretty popular on the ladder. Okay, so we're gonna take six damage here at least. All right. So. I don't think we need the egg morph at the moment, although... Hmm. It's either that or the sojourner I want to toss. Maybe I'm going to toss the sojourner. Maybe that was a bad idea. Um, so what we're going to do here... How do I want to do this? Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Which one do I want to dispel? This is a good question. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna take that damage. Yeah, that'll be our turn. Okay, so that may have been that may have been a misplay. I'm not sure. Maybe it's better to dispel the Windblade Adept and let the Sojourner draw him cards. But uh, you know, we're pretty close in health. I'm gonna start getting the attack. Okay, here's a Divine Bond. We're gonna take quite a bit of damage here. We're gonna take a lot of damage here. <laughs> Is that game? That's going to be uh, 11, 13, 15. Although he just wasted a lot of resources on that, so maybe we can get Nurse Sphere and keep ourselves in this. You're going to attack. We're stuck there then.
Okay, so this is going away. Okay. So we got six mana. What we can do is um, So I think we're going to egg morph this. We're gonna step up here. We're gonna bop this. We'll play that. We're gonna bop this, and now we are uh, pretty much out of cards. That'll get us a card. Now it's basically run away, and hopefully we survive and uh, can start putting the pressure back on him. I wouldn't be surprised if he has a uh, Iron Cliff Guardian or like a Dealtis or something sitting in hand, or a Zenry. <laughs> Because why not? Why not steal my guy and then have him hit me? Okay. And he didn't attack. Oh, jeez. I don't think that's good enough. Okay, <laughs> I could have used you just a moment ago. Oh, jeez. Well. This seems like it's probably going to be a loss, but like I said, he put on a lot of pressure really quick in the early game, and uh, I don't think I've been able to respond to that quite well. And I don't know, it's, it's probably just misplays on my behalf. I don't know, that card draw played a whole lot into this. Okay, what do we got here? What do you have for us, Ryubusa? Or it's, I don't know, Ryu B USA? I don't know what his name is. I'm gonna go with Ryubusa. I'm gonna go with my original thought on that one. Okay. <laughs> that Mana Spring tile is finally taken. Okay, that doesn't seem so great for us. Spirit Harvester, you are not needed right now. Okay. So, uh... I mean, that's pretty much GG. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we'll hit him with... I, there's no way out of this, I don't think. Hit him with well played. We'll just play this. Play this. Hit him with that. We'll even play this, and then we'll kill ourselves. Alright, so... Man, he, he put so much pressure right away, and so maybe, I don't know, I'll have to go back and watch that replay and see, you know, if uh, what kind of mistakes I made, and if there's anything I could have done to have prevented it. Man, my recording does not look so hot. I don't know. We've hit rank 8 this season. Completed a quest along the way there, so that was pretty nice. Um... I mentioned in my channel update video that I'm building a PC, so hopefully I won't have to deal with these issues pretty soon here. Probably some kind of uh, healing line on our deck here from Urzu. 
Yeah, so I'm building a PC. Okay, Lion or Songhai. Lama. What do we want to play here? Too early for you. You might be good. Um, probably too early for you. Okay. Okay, I like that. That's good. And he's going to lead off with the Windblade Adept because that is everyone's lead. We'll say good luck, have fun. I think we're just going to lead off with the Sojourner here, and that allow or that blocks the Windblade Adept from being able to get us. And we get a Sun Steel Defender. Okay. So, back to what I was saying again, of course, because this game uh, derails all of my thoughts. I'm purchasing a PC. I uh, got the motherboard and the video card in uh, earlier this week. I will be ordering, I believe, the remainder of the parts that I need uh, either Monday or Tuesday. And then, I don't know, it's going to be hard time, hard to find time in order to put it together and get it all set up and ready to record and edit and upload videos. So I think what I might do is um, record a gauntlet run, cut that into enough pieces for, um, I don't know, like a week's worth of videos. And that way I'll have something up while I am uh, trying to put that, trying to put the PC together and get it all set up in order to put out some videos. Okay. So, okay, right now we need very badly to get, uh, I forget the name of the card, one that makes me cost two less, two less, and, okay that's not quite it. So instead we will... Four mana, huh? Okay. We will attack you. Dispel you. Dispel you. And we will end our turn. There it is, Flash Reincarnation. <laughs> Man, that's, that's two, two times in a row here. Last game we got the Mechantor one one turn too late, and this time we get the Flash Reincarnation one turn too late. It would have been nice to have played that, play out the Mechantor, and take out all three of these guys. That would have been really nice. Arclight Regalia, okay. Alright, he did a lot of non-attacking there. So, let's see, two damage, this blocks the first two, right? So that'll cost two, maybe an egg is not quite the right thing right now. Diatide Frenzy. Okay. Jeez, what is the best way to do this? I think we do this, we play this, we play you here, we beef ourselves up a little bit, we take you out, and we end our turn. Okay. Okay. So we're able to take out most of his minions. He's still got the Arclight Regalia. That's going to be an issue. 
gonna take out the take out here easily. But we're able to uh, take out a lot of his threats there. We are up on the card advantage. We're down on health. But we are starting to uh, beef up our own attack, so that's good. All right, that took out. I didn't realize that that would take out two uses of the arc light regalia. I think that's pretty important here. Okay. The Cantor. Where time has come. It is here. Okay, I think uh, Urzu here really put on pressure <laughs> really early, kind of like the last game. Um, unlike the last game, I think we're making up ground here, and I think we're uh, in a much better position. Drawing this Mechantor, the second Mechantor here is pretty big. Uh, also being able to play the Sunsteel Defender and then giving him Frenzy with the Dire Tide Frenzy is going to be a pretty cool play if, if that ends up being what we need to do. Um, otherwise, if they drop a big provoke minion we'll just give them an egg morph um, be able to take that out and then we'll be able to go up to four attack here our next turn so that'll be pretty nice all right we get down with guardian like i said a big provoke she's running away okay so maybe we don't need you right now Mouse went a little bit crazy there. All right. Seven. Seven. Yeah, so I think we're going to do that for sure. Um. Definitely gonna play this. We're gonna play it after we step up here. We'll play you here. We're gonna move up. We're gonna do that. We're gonna take out the egg. We're gonna hit you. We'll call that our turn. Uh, the nice thing with Flash Reincarnation with the Sunsteel Defender, as you saw there, is uh, you get to play him out without the negative effect of taking two damage because of the force field effect. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. Can she play a Provoke on either side? Holy Immolation. That will take out the Sunsteel Defender. So we don't need you. That'll work. That'll work indeed. So it'll go up to six, right? Which is not quite enough. Or is it? I spoke a little too soon there. Well played. All right, so that, that game there showcased off this deck a little bit better. A little bit better. Like I said, I'm not too experienced with Magmar. I'm getting there. Uh, two games in a row there. Uh, I kind of fell behind in the early game, and then first game was not able to make up that ground. Second game there, I was able to make up that ground. Uh, we're at about 25 minutes in here. Uh, it's actually pretty late for me here. And I got to wake up early tomorrow, so I think we're going to call that a video. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy. Uh, the next video will be coming out this upcoming Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern Time. And I think I'm going to do something a little bit interesting in that video, so look forward to that. Uh, thank you for stopping by and watching this. Thank you to everyone stopping by and watching my videos. I've been getting a ton of support and I really appreciate that. 
Uh, if you do like this video, please hit the like button. If you like all of my videos or you just like me, please hit the subscribe button. Both of those things really help. If you don't like this video and uh, you think I could be doing something better, please hit the dislike button and that'll kind of let me know that I could be do some, doing something a little bit better. And please comment below the video here. I would like to get to know the people watching these videos, uh, kind of figure out who the audience is, get a lot more interactive with you, uh, figure out what you like, what you don't like, and uh, try to work together in order to make this channel something that everybody can really love. Uh, I'm trying to put a lot of effort into this even though I'm working a full-time job. Got a wife and a kid, and so I don't have you know a ton of time, certainly not as much time as other YouTubers to put into my channel, but uh, trying to do the best I can and I hope that you are enjoying the content that I'm putting out so uh, yeah thank you very much again for stopping by I uh, love you and I will see you next time